Right, so I often get asked how to hit different clubs, so individual clubs. How do you hit your driver? How do you hit your irons? How do you hit your wedges? This is how to hit your hybrid. Right, so I'm always getting asked how to hit different clubs, whether it's your driver, your irons, your wedges, even your putter. But hybrids and fairway woods, hybrids in particular, this is what we're gonna cover. There's a couple of different things that you do in comparison to your irons and your driver that you've got to understand to be able to get the most out of it. Now it's all about delivery of the club to the ball. The key difference between your woods and your irons is the arc of the swing. So with your driver, you're very much trying to sort of get that sensation of leaning back and hitting up. So the low point of the swing could be a couple of inches before the ball, and then the club's ascending as it's coming into the ball to hit up. So you're trying to reduce spin and increase launch angle to get the most out of your driver. If you're hitting an iron, ball goes ball position will be further back. You're looking to swing and then get the feeling of hitting down onto the ball so a little bit of compression try to squeeze that ball a little bit to put a bit of backspin on it to get it up in the air so the the irons you very much hit down the driver you very much hit up now when it comes to sort of fairway woods and hybrids and we are covering hybrids it's slightly different so it sits between the two so you're not trying to hit up on it but also you're not trying to hit down on it so from a setup point of view if i'm approaching a hybrid see so if this was my driver i'd be Ball just inside my left heel, leaning back this way, chin pointing at my left foot, flaring my foot out. So I get the sensation that as the club comes down there, I'm hitting up as I'm coming into the ball. That's what I want to do. With the irons back there, as we just said, with the hybrid, I'd probably go probably a, a ball back in width from where the um, from where the driver is. And it's you can you can sort of measure it so that if you stood there and went, okay, so it's just some simple waist side to waist side swings and you did that, where that club's bottoming out and touching the ground, that's where the ball should be. So do a couple of them, get a feel for where the ball should be, get that ball in position. Now, the next step is the feeling that I like to see people do. So as they strike the ball, is then what do they do after that? So it's not just a case of like, you know, with your driver, it's, it's hit up there. With your irons, you want to sort of hit down, get the ball, and then get the club up. With the, um, with the hybrid fairway, but we are so focusing on hybrid, that you want to hit the ball and then try to get the feeling of keeping the club lower to the ground. Now the reason for that is that that will help if you can come in and think right so I'm, I'm trying to hit the ball then as, it, as the club comes through that it's trying to stay much lower to the ground there and then exit into the left hand side of your body so nice wide arc. That's going to help you compress the ball with a the hybrid, that's going to help it to get out of there. But there's a little tip that you can do that will help. So what I will do with a client is I will get the hybrid and then you would put the ball back here and then just in front of the ball back club width in front there that way I'd put a tee in front of it. So you, if we were outside and in the grass you would bury a tee in the ground there so that as you stand there and make the swing you get the feeling that the club's coming in and then you hit, you, you hit the ball and you hit the tee at the same time. So the tee being a few inches afterwards, but the club's coming through nice and low, nice and shallow. Obviously I can't do that in here. So put that little castle tee down there. So as I hit this, what I'm trying to get the feeling of is that I'm gonna hit the ball and then swing through and the club is still gonna be low enough to the ground to be able to hit the tee as well. So take a couple of practice swings. Get the feeling for it. And, and then this is what it should look like. So I'm gonna try and hit the ball and then collect the tee and hit that as well. So the tee being that few inches in front of it. Ball position just slightly further back than the driver. Stand there, make me sweep. Right, let's have a look. There. So there, hit the ball, collect the tee, get the ball going out there so it's a nice, Keep the club nice and low through impact, so you're not taking a divot, but you're keeping the club nice and low to the ground. That's going to help compress the ball and get it out there a bit. But if you like that video, make sure that you check this one out, where I talk about how your left leg should work in your swing, and how much easier that's going to make your golf game.